G'day everyone, welcome to my channel, Marty Groves. This channel mostly features farming simulator gameplay. The episode's about to kick off. I hope you enjoy the show. Please hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment. Let's get on with the show. Good day everyone, welcome to December. We're on my achievement challenge map now. And I believe we just have a field to spray. So I'm going to get that going while I ramble on. And a cotton field to harvest just over there. It's going to be a nice simple month this month. Now, over behind us, we did harvest that field towards the end of last episode when I realised that I had to do it. And I've got the harvester sitting up near the sell everything point, just waiting uh, for the grain to be sold. I'm thinking this will be a fairly short episode this month because there's not a whole lot to be done. I had to start this episode a lot later in the day because it had been snowing which is something I didn't remember happening before. Just pause here and get our cotton harvester going. Hey, the snow was coming down really heavy, and since that's classed as rain on this map, I couldn't start the cotton harvester going until now. Uh, just going to do a nice simple up and down course. It's a fairly big field. Um, you know. Temperate course. I'm going to say two. So I'll bring the other cotton harvester down and kick it off as well. Of course, it's going to do a donut. Uh, I might go and grab the other cotton harvester because this one should skip every second row now. By the time I get back here with it, we'll know whether that's going to be the case or not. This one's just about to spit a bale out too, which is pretty cool. Alright. So far, all I've done is drive this one from the store to the farm. Now it's got to drive halfway back to the store, basically, to get to the field. There's the harvester with the grain in it that we'll unload a little bit later on. And I should probably find a planter or something and get that fuel turned around too that we harvested. He's missed one row, which is perfect. That's the row that this cotton planter will go down. I'm going to wait until the one in the field gets to the end and turns around before I kick this one off though, just to try and make sure that they're not constantly passing and holding each other up. Now I should be able to say copy. And there we go, it's showing out the course. I will need to jump into this other cotton harvester to see if it's I oh, know, it is the left, so I should be able to say nearest waypoint and right, and it's going to run down the right hand side. 
of the course. It's a really gloomy day with it being snowing and everything. It's a lot different to the nice sunny days that we've had here over the last few months. Pretty sure there's one bale in the truck already just there too. So once I get this started I'll go pick up that bale. Okay. I wanted to go from the first waypoint. I haven't unfolded it yet, so we'll do that now too. And see how we go. It's going to pick up those two rows on the way back. And it looks like after that they're doing their full width. So there was just one run of a closer width because of the field size. We'll let him go and go jump in this truck quick. Yes, there was one bale already in here, so we'll pick this up, run it up to our cell point, and come back, then I'll jump in the herbicide sprayer and get the field finished. Not sure what's blocked by an object. Just while we're here. No, the trees aren't big enough to see just yet. Maybe one or two more months in we should start to see those trees spring up. I put them there, I think I put some around the house and barn and a few others in random places. Get this unloaded. Okay, the cotton harvesters seem to be behaving well. It looks like they're skipping the rows. I think I'll be buying another two of them for when we do the massive field up on top of the map. I'll just have a look and see what our field view shows as well. Okay, we're way down in the middle. Oh, I've got a big cotton field over there that I had forgotten about as well. I should go check on that. Looks like there's a car there I can jump into. That looks like it's probably pretty close to the size of the massive one at the top of the screen too. I forget the order that these were done in, so let's see. It'll take a minute to update because the map is just so big. Okay, we have two fields here that need to be harvested. It looks like we might have a sugar beet field there that has to be done as well. Hey, there's a lot to do. So we have our, I'm pretty sure they're olives that we'll need to do. Hey. These won't be ready for a couple of months. 
and Grape and Olive Park. Oh, they look like they're ready as well. I think I might jump around the map a little bit and see what's going on. So we have grape up here that's ready to be harvested. This is going to be a lot bigger episode than I thought. And what else do we have? Yes, there is an olive plantation way over here too. I'm glad I didn't completely fill this area with grape and olive vines or all we do for the next six months is harvest them. Okay, and our olives are ready to harvest. Uh-oh. Um, okay, we can deal with that. Not a problem. Uh, our big cotton field here looks like it's going to be ready next month. Ooh, and I have another cotton field. I have another two cotton fields. That are ready to harvest over here as well. Hmm. Okie dokie. I don't need to go see him because he's good. But it looks like this is the one that's blocked. Okay, let's jump across to the blocked guy. There we go, get rid of the big lump. The harvester must have stopped there for some reason. And it can handle the smaller ones, okay. Alright, I think I might buy a couple more cotton harvesters and a grape harvester and an olive harvester. Woohoo! Spending spree! Alright. Definitely don't want them to go at 10 kilometers an hour. Okay, two of them sort of put a dent in my funds. And I don't have... It's only a light tap. I don't have an auto drive point set up over here yet. So I'll see you in a minute when I get over there. started to pay the loan down but I've just taken out another 600 or got my balance up to 600,000 however we still have all <laughs> this feels really rough it's bouncing around like crazy uh, we still have the grain to sell so once I get this guy on track wow this would be so rough I might jump across to the grain harvester and sell the grain because that should be worth at least a hundred thousand um, probably several hundred thousand I forget how much there was <laughs> poor cotton harvester getting shaken to bits okay so we're gonna do a nice simple field and I just realized I should have done yep I should have recorded a field coming over here uh, not a field a auto drive path coming over here because it would have saved me a lot of time bringing the next one over it's just a simple up and down course Probably need 10 or 12 passes, I'm guessing. Okay. 
I need to go sell my grain so that I can get some olive and grape equipment. Okay, so we've only got 358,000 litres of sorghum. I'm hoping I can get it so it will sell. There we go. That should give me the money I need to get the grape and olive harvesters. Six hundred and forty ish thousand dollars. I'll probably replant that field with sorghum again. I've harvested it three times now. It seems a shame to do something else. It also means I can <clears throat> go and buy some more equipment. Okay, so grape harvester. What does that? Oh, that gives me a higher capacity. I think I might go with that one. Can have green grapes as well. I got no idea if this is going to work or have problems. Uh, so we'll find out really soon. So 210,000. And we also need an olive harvester. I don't want it to be fast because they just seem to crash into the vines constantly. Looks pretty good. And that's 212,000 too. kilometers an hour is an adequate speed. We'll go up to the mountain, Grape and Olive Park. Or parking spot. I'm hoping there isn't more than a hundred thousand litres worth of Grape and Olives, but either way that's all I need to sell now. And I should have the achievements done. They're going to take a while to get there. Yep, they're going to take about 16 minutes to get oops, to far, all the way to where they need to go. So in the meantime, I'll get this guy heading over. And I'll see you once I actually get over there, ready to start. Okay, so this is the field in question. And we've got the cotton baler going up and down that one. And these two have just about finished that smaller field, so I need to get over there and pick up a few bales. <laughs> Our olive and grape harvester, respectively, are slowly heading up. They're going to come around the end of this field, then over and up to that point up there. It'll take them a little while yet. How many 
get off these fields. Uh, this little one, probably six, maybe seven. A really long, narrow one over there, I'm going to guess at ten. So I'll try and keep a running count and see how we go once it's all done and they're moved over to the salt point. This cotton harvester is going to take an hour and ten minutes to finish the field, plus a little bit longer for when it turns. And the one on the long field is going to take one and a half hours to finish. So it's some pretty crazy times. So the other one's just got to go down and back along here. There's at least three bales. I'd say there'll be a few more. What we might do is run this one up. <sighs> run this one up the side of the field. Just pick up these little bits of cotton here. Uh, it doesn't look like there is any more. A little bit up here. field that we should need to do in this strip is the very first one that I started on. I'm going to leave him and jump up to our olive and grape harvester. So what have we got here? A olive harvester. And the great ones arriving just behind it. So I'll go over here to these... Oh, this is so quick. I wish the cotton harvester could move this quick. So, we'll unfold him. I don't know if it's going to pick these vines up as one or two fields, probably two fields. I'll turn it on just to make sure it actually gets stuff. Now I'll see if course play can do a course for it. So on the vine, one tool, don't skip any. This is just so quick, it's insane. Every time you start a course with this, instead of going along the vine there, it wants to go to the other side of the field, and it doesn't matter what side I start on. So let's get him going. Now I'll hop across to the uh, grape and do the same for him really curious how much we get out of these. You can see the olive harvester in the distance. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, next to unfold. Because these are so quick, I'm hoping they have capacity to finish doing both sets of these vines in one go, otherwise I'll have to run a trailer up. They're a bit of a challenge to drive. Okay. I won't start because 
I know. This one was fine. A good start on it. Crazy fast. And these are the unmodded speed ones. So there is another one that will go even faster, but I think this is quick enough. It's going to take nine minutes. Wow. And the olive one's going to take about seven, so that's all the tracks. Okay, both of them ended up about 50% full. Okay, I'll see you all once I've run over this field. Okay, that's taken care of and I picked up the couple of bits I missed the previous month in the field beside it. So I will leave it down here and hope I can get this one done. Now yeah, our grape and olive are finished so I'll jump into the grape first because I picked that one first. Ended up with 10,000 litres of grape off that vine. Because of the acceleration, okay, our grape count is going up, so it's picking up the grape on the vine. made a course this time and it does three of them which is just fine that's one two three that I don't have to do it got 12,700 litres off the four vines I don't know why I only did Razor 4 because they were so long. Unfold. Alright, make a new course. but that's better than one. Let's jump back to the grape and see if I have any luck now. That didn't take very long at all. Ha ha ha. That took ages to find this truck. I certainly have a fairly decent equipment count at present. Hmm, looks like there's only three more bales, unless there's one up the end that we can't see yet.
wait till it picks up the auto drive course and send him on his way. That's 25,000 litres of olives in this one too. Alright, I'll see you once I get them all down there. I'm still in the process of gathering all of the cotton bales but the grape and olive harvesters have finished uh, and I've collected the grape and olive from the silo so I figure it was time to do a really big sell of or well, olives to start with because they're up first So after all the rows of olives were done, there were 64,000 litres to $118,000 for them. Let's get them out of the way a bit. And then what was in the silo was 51,000 litres. Another 83, 94, 95,000 for them. Right. Get this trailer out of the way and cut to the other one. So I'm assuming that's enough to get the achievement since some reviews say 50, others say 60. And oh, I just dropped nearly 100,000 litres. There's 56,000 litres of grey uh, from the silo. We'll unload that first. Didn't even make a dent in the trailer, but it's a really high capacity modded one. So, I don't know, 108,000. And then from the harvester, after all those silly vines were done, it's another 43,000 litres there. So it makes just off 100,000 litres of grape sold as well for another $83,000. So, with a bit of luck, that will get me my grape and olive achievements. Ooh, trailer's right there. Knocked off. I'll keep going collecting the cotton bales. The harvesters have finished. I've just got to bring all the bales over. Or the rest of the bales over. So I'll see you when they're done. Wow. Okay, so we got 14 bales off those two fields, five off the smaller one, and nine off the really long one. So up to 14, 20, I think 22 bales now. Next month we have one more massive field to do. I think once I've done that, I'm going to have a crack at selling all the bales and see how we go. Got a couple of planters. <laughs> Got two planters going on one of the massy fields. And, well, the roller's nearly finished on a smaller one. The big field that I'm doing is way over there. So it's this nice big one that I was considering breaking up into at least three or four fields. But for now, it's just going to get replanted in cotton. I think it's the third largest field that I currently have. Also need to check this field and see how long it's going to be until it's ready.
Okay, and this one's going to be ready next month too. So I think by the time this field is done, the tiny one near the farm plus another one down south, we should have almost enough bales to make it worthwhile selling them and seeing if that's enough for the achievement. If it's not, the following month, these two fields are ready and they're absolutely massive. And the month after that, this huge L-shaped one will be ready. I think between these we'll get probably 40 bales combined. So we're on track to knock off the cotton achievement within two or three episodes as well. I did have enough grape and olives to finish that one and I'll throw those achievement notes up on the screen now. That's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you all in the next one. Welcome back everyone. It looks like we've reached the end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment if I've done something or you think I should try or do something else. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Back in my box.